Hi guys, I'm Angie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to open up my first Dia and Co box. Came in the mail. So Dia and Company is a fashion company that sends you items each month based upon a survey and a questionnaire that you fill out on their website. It's $20 a month. Your um, specialized stylist then sends you items. They send you a price listing of them. And if you like them, you try them on. If you choose to keep them, you pay the price listed. And if not, they give you a postage, uh, free postage return bag to send the items that you don't want back. You can send all of them back. You're not required. I would never tried this. I wanted to check it out to see if it is actually worth the money. I'd seen other YouTubers actually get these boxes. Some of them were hit and miss. So I wanted to see what they could do for me and what I already have in my closet. So let's dig in. So the first thing in the box is a leopard satchel bag. Inside it has the shoulder strap already in there for you. There you go, it has two compartments, a zip section here in the middle and a zip se section here on the side. So the VV clutch is valued at $39. The next thing that we have in here are a pair of jeans. These are light washed jeans, a little faded and distressed. Downing Studio is the name. They're an Albi boot cut jean, medium wash. They're $69. So there's no detail on the back at all, just standard button up, zip up, no distressing, um, has that normal wear look on there. So we'll try those on and see how they look. The next thing in the box is a, let's see what they call this. It's from East Adeline Charity Ruffle Front Cardigan. It's a charcoal gray and it's $59. So let's take a look here. It's awfully cute. It's mid length sleeve, three quarter sleeves. Has the ruffle lapel here with a tie front and ruffle down. Looks like it might hit about your butt. So that's $59. So the next thing we have here is a Mary Sky Juno Fall Wrap dress. It's very pretty, very spring-like. It has the v-neck here and it looks like it opens up quite a bit. It has a faux wrap here in the front. So it's very pretty. So one thing that I would like to say about D and Company so far I'm very self-conscious of my arms. And in my questionnaire, I specifically said no sleeveless. Okay, but we'll try it on just to see how it looks. It may look pretty good. The next thing in the box is from Delancey Studio. It's a lacing long lace-up sleeve knit top in burgundy and it is $49. All right, so you have your regular standard, not really a boat, but not really a scoop neck. You have these grommet and lace details here. Looks like it's a little bit more than three quarter inch sleeves. It's a pretty color. Um, it's a knit fabric. It's very warm, very, very warm, very snugly. It reminds me of the, the blankets, those tie blankets that were the, the fad years ago that everybody was making. So yeah, we'll try that on and see how that looks. So that's it for the box, guys. 
Let's get to trying this stuff on. So this is the Dia and Company dress that they sent. I actually paired it with that cardigan that they sent. I do like the cardigan. I don't believe it's worth the amount of money. And I'm going to show in the next clip a similar type that I actually got at Kato's for $20. So I don't feel it's worth this. It does have the tie top, has the lapel here that goes down into ruffles. The dress, again, I asked them for not being sleeveless and they sent me sleeveless. It does have a mock wrap around here with a little tie here. And um, it's cute, it's very, very long. Overall, it's very beautiful, it's just not for me. Number one, because of the height. Number two, I don't want the sleeveless. And as far as the cardigan goes, the wrap cardigan, I'm gonna show you another one that I already have, $20 at Cato, as I had mentioned. Let's move on. This is the cardigan that I purchased at Cato's for $20. It has the waterfall with the longer front here. So I feel it elongates my smaller frame since I'm apple shaped and rounded here. I like to go for the look to be elongating. Make me look number one, thinner, taller. So Kato's for 20 compared to the Dion Company and the box set was $59. I think I'll take this one. So the cardigan and the dress are a no go for me, unfortunately. They are beautiful. I just already have a cardigan that fits my purposes. And again, this is sleeveless, a little too long. So this is the Dia and Company lace-up grommet shirt in a nice mauve purple color with their jeans. The jeans are a good fit, don't get me wrong. They have a nice stretch. The length really isn't that bad for my height, but unfortunately I already have jeans the same color. They have a little bit of design on the pocket though. Um, I purchased these at Kato's for $23. And I also have a shirt like this, very similar I should say. It has the grommet lace up, has the grommet lace up detail, same type of neckline but on the bottom it has fringe, which I think it kind of beefs it up a little bit more. Whereas this is a nice look. Um, the length is there on the shirt. Again, the jeans would, I think they're gonna have to be hemmed just a little bit if I decided to keep them. Not tight around the waist at all. But because I have similar items like this already in my closet, they will be going back. So the first thing I had taken out of the bag was the leopard clutch with the crossbody bag inside. It's very roomy, but unfortunately I'm not going to be keeping this also. This was a $39 item. So in my arsenal of accessories, I do have a leopard bag. It has a shorter arm length uh, strap on it. I got this at a consignment store years ago for $5. Serves its purpose for that look especially considering $39 for a clutch. I'm not really into doing that at this time. So for January's DN Co, I will not be keeping any of the items. Just to recap, the leopard clutch, I have a leopard print bag already. Uh, the wrap dress, I had put the clip in showing the wrap floral dress that I did like at Torrid. Um, it fit well as far as I was concerned. I like the sleeves a lot better. Again, that was a mark against Dia and Company this month because they did send me the sleeveless item. In retrospect, she did send the black cardigan for the covering of the arms purposes, but getting to that, I already had one in my arsenal, in my wardrobe, that I got for $20 at Kato's whereas this one was $59, and we won't be keeping that. 
the bootcut jeans, $69. I already had some I got at Kato's. And honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, the Kato's jeans fit the same way as these $69 jeans, and I think I got those for $24. Might even been less on sale because I don't usually buy high dollar items at Kato's. The shirt with the grommets and the lace-up shoulders. That one there was $49. The material was great. It was so soft. But unfortunately, I had one similar in a gray style, which I showed you. Um, I actually got that at Gabe's, which is a great store if you're not aware of them. See if you have one close to you. It's Gabe, G-A-B-E. Love it. They get overstock from Lane Bryant and from other plus size companies. They have men's, women's, children's, housewares. Great place to go. I believe I got that shirt there for $10, $9.99 or something like that. So in looking at this total box, it valued $186.25 if I would have wanted to keep everything. And looking at what I already had in my wardrobe, I got everything on a similar note for three-fourths less. So... I more than likely will not be keeping Dia & Co. I wanted to see what they could do for me. This first box was not a good impression, and I'd rather keep that $20 and put it to possibly another box that will give me better, um, better clothes and items that I already don't have in my wardrobe. I hope you liked the video. Be safe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. So overall, I'm not going to be keeping anything in the box from Dia and Company this, company this morning. This morning. So unfortunately, this month. So for this month's Dia and Company, Dia and Co.